I would have a necklace with two pendants. I would have my cross and then my Buddha. My wooden cross, my wooden Buddha. And depending on who I saw coming my way, I would switch one to the other because Cambodian kids are very resourceful. My mom and dad, they never specifically spoke about My father would have been the person who would have taught me all these beautiful traditions that to this day I don't know because my father was killed. I don't have any rice, I don't have any anything food, no nothing. I will hunt monkey, snake, fish, whatever I can get. And then I just try to survive by myself and I don't have any fire burn too. So, on that time, I was like 13 years old. It really is the only time I feel at peace with all of the family members who died in the war is during a Cambodian Buddhist ceremony. Cambodian religion is kind of a mixture of Buddhism, Hinduism, and animism. When you do satuk to the older people I notice, they always say, look, die to my prayer. Who's our prayer? Who's our God? I did ask my parents, like, who's prayer? They said, whoever you want to be, your prayer is your prayer. 